M1 Challenge 68, one of the biggest MMA events of this year on the European continent, is taking place right now in Jubilee Sports Palace in St. Petersburg, Russia. Action-packed card, including the fights of three former Bellator champions, Alexander Volkov, Attila Bey, and Alexander Shlamenko. Volkov will face Bey for the organization heavyweight title, and Alexander Shlamenko will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Vacheslav Vasilevsky in long-anticipated rematch for the M1 middleweight Grand Prix crown. The 7,000th Jubilee was in full attendance and none of the fans stayed disappointed. While most undercard fights went to distance, the main card was packed with all kinds of finishes. Only one pair of competitors let the match last until the final bell. Valery Masnikov and Anik Salvis Torres showcased their great striking ability in a three-round collision that was finally declared a draw. Alexander Drago Volkov and Attila Vey, two former Bellator title holders, faced each other for the M1 heavyweight belt. It only took Drago 2 minutes and 38 seconds to put the Slovakian out, ironically taking revenge for the recent loss of Russian football team to Slovakia at Euro 2016. I'm happy that I had the opportunity to get into some striking exchanges with Attila. I really enjoy such fights. Alexander Shlamenko and Slava Vasilevsky rematch came out to be even more dramatic than the first war between the two. For the first two and a half rounds, Slava clearly dominated the fight, successfully implementing his game plan. Though Shlamenko also gave enough problems to the Russian crusher, with winning some striking exchanges in the back-to-back -back action. Sadly for Vyacheslav, the storm caught him into a guillotine at 2 minutes 9 seconds of round number 3, taking the M1 middleweight Grand Prix belt. Honestly, it was a surprise to me. I'm not a world-class grappler, but I feel how to defend from chokes pretty well. That's why when I was caught in the submission, for the first few seconds I was calm and confident, I didn't feel any danger from it. Then I realized that the choke was tight. I started to escape, but it was too late. That was my mistake. Is there any sense of guessing who had been winning the fight before it was finished? The main thing is whose hand was finally raised. That's what people remember. Shlamenko's contract with M1 expired after this bout, but the president of the organization, Vadim Filkenstein, showed his absolute interest in the third match between these warriors. The fans are waiting for the further announcements.